you like spicy? Even my eyelids are sweating. buy some fruit. How much for the pineapple? Twenty-five. Twenty-five? Yeah. Uh, okay, I take one and dragon fruit. One for one kilo. Then two bananas as well. Hello everybody. So I've just gone to get laundry or drop off our laundry to get it done. And I've also picked up some fruit. We don't have a sharp knife. We've only got, you know, a knife you eat with. Cut the fruit. So, dragon fruit skin's actually quite soft. So that's all right. Got some bananas. Obviously, they don't need cutting. But then, excited for is pre-cut pineapple. As there would be no way cutting a pineapple with a bread knife. But it would. It just would be mush. So we're just getting ready because we have decided it's like 12 I think and we've been working since like 7 apart from the little brief interlude to go and do the laundry. We're going to go sunbathe today for about an hour, get a coffee, get, get some sun. I have some not severe but gradual tan lines on my thighs from my shorts so I really want to sort that out. First world problems. But I just thought, guys don't forget your sun cream. I've done it twice or I haven't worn sun cream because you know I'm desperate for the tan and it's, it's just not worth it. Long term, short term, you don't want to burn. You're still going to tan if you put sun cream on and that sun cream, if you're from the UK, probably also Europe, no idea anywhere else ambre solaire, baby sun cream. It's the best because sun cream can often break you out on your face and it doesn't, SPF 50, because we don't want those wrinkles. But I thought I'd vlog today because it's a rest day and we have actually changed our plan a little bit of what we were gonna do. I thought I'd make a little video about two hidden gems. I don't know the definition of a hidden gem, but basically somewhere that a lot of people would miss out when they come here or if you guys are looking for something to do or something you should do while you're here. One of them I've actually never done before, but yeah, first, as I said, we're just gonna go catch some rays, grab a coffee, maybe even a frozen yogurt, and then see how the rest of the timeline of the day goes. Harry's gone to order some coffee. Might need to put my sunglasses on though, it's a bit bright. We have come to Hula Gilly. Never been in before. They've got a pool just over there. See it's just there. It's stunning. So is that cold coffee? So we've been here over an hour. It is proper chill. Definitely a really nice place to come. It is a Sunday though, so I'm assuming a lot of people have probably left the island after a night out last night. But now we're gonna head and we're gonna get a really small bit of frozen yogurt because we don't have much money on us. And then we're gonna head back and do a little bit of work. So let's go. Something big is being built here and quite quickly. Okay, so we've just chilled out for an hour or so, I FaceTime my mum, hi mum, and now it's, what time is it? Just after four? And we are headed to stop number one, but I think we're going to do stop number two tomorrow when we hire a bike, because this evening I'm actually going to cook. Got some little baby cows. 
So if this is the first one you're watching of the series, or you've never been to Guinea or you don't know anything about Guinea, the only mode of transport is a bicycle or like the horse and cart, donkey. There is no like motor vehicles, cars, etc. There's the odd moped or electric bike, um, which are mainly used by like construction people, but nothing for the public. Or walk, like us. But it's such a small island, like the whole circumference of the island is less than six kilometers. So we've so far been walking most places, but like we're going out more than once a day. At this rate, we should probably get a bike. It's nice, there's like no sound of traffic. It's just all nice and peaceful. Take. Four mini gold is uh, 50 each, yeah? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh, lucky. If it goes out, you have to start from the beginning. That's red. So we have come to Guinea Golf, which is a crazy golf course. It's got 18 holes, we've just started, and so far it's immaculately kept. He's just decided to put on some uh, tunes, but before then it was really peaceful. That goes in. Nah. So yeah, I feel like not many people know about this, but there is crazy golf on the island, and you have drinks if you want them. Four. No, that was, no, that was not four, because you were about to be number four when you did it again. That was five or six. No, that was number three, my No, you, that was number five. Yeah, other than the people over there playing basketball, we're literally the only ones here. Super peaceful and nice and it's like 20 to 5 so the temperature is perfect. And it was only, if I didn't say it, it was only 50k each. Pretty good. I am so sorry everybody. Look what I just found. A bunch of bananas. That's cool. Oh, it's a good effort. Yeah. Oh yeah. I think I'm still one behind though. We're going into our last two holes. I think it's a tight game. Let's just double check off Harry. Two. 33, 39, no, 36, 50, 41, 42. <laughs> even though he's been writing scores down wrong. So Ooh. I reckon I'm uh, in for a chance of winning here. How are you feeling? Um, pretty cool, because the lighting on my abs right now is sick. No. Oh. Yeah! <laughs> There's no way I lost four points to you, so we've definitely drawn, and Harry's definitely wrote the numbers down wrong. Shall I add them up on my calculator on my phone? Yeah. Yeah. One. Yeah. Five. Three. Yeah. Two. Six. Three. Two. Three. Three. Two. Five. Two. Five. Two. Four. Four. Sixty-one. Sixty-one. Me. Up your bum. Nineteen. What? Okay. <laughs> two. Three. Four. Two. Five. Five. Two. Four. Six. Three. Five. One. Five. Four. Four. Eight. You put three there. No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I've got my Keep going. Three. Lying here. Four. I lost where I was. You have to start. You're at four. Let's do it legitimately this time. Is that it? Mm. 59. Really? Five. Call it a draw and come back and play another decider. I, yeah, and I'll write the numbers down that time. Look at that face. That is the face of pure Champion. cheating. Stop it. Stop sitting up to tense your ass. <laughs> Why do you do that? <laughs> Literally comes on camera. Lats, lats are flexed. And some chili and get Harry some warung food. Because I've decided guys, I think it's making me gain weight. Either that or TikTok has convinced me that it has. Because everyone's telling me that it's got a lot of calories in and that I eat a lot. I've also got tofu to cook that's gonna go off. I'm gonna treat myself to a warung every now and again, but tonight have a healthy pot noodle and tofu. I just need to find some chili to spice things up. Tomato. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, this chili and this tomato. Uh, this jelly. Oh, you like spicy? Yeah. <laughs> um, do you want more ketchup manis as well? Ketchup manis? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Peanuts. How much are the peanuts? 10,000. 10,000. Yes, please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, he's found something as well. Okay. 42. What are they? Cheese. 42. My favorite crisps. Okay. I have 100. Cool. I think I have yeah. two. Okay. okay. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Thank yeah. you. 
I do. All of that was 42. The ketchup manis was 10. The chilli sauce was 10. And what else did I buy? Oh, the peanuts were also 10. So then that means Harry's crackers were 12, which in every other shop, they're like 20. So more of the story is, guys, shop local. But what we are doing now is heading back by a place where we've got dinner three times in a row. Harry, okay, four times in a row. Harry is going to get some nasty shampoo and crackers. And I almost forgot, we've got to pick up our laundry. <laughs> I'll pick up laundry. Oh, it's okay. 62. 62. Thank you. Thank you. Three pound fifty for a bunch of washing. Oh, it's nicely holding a lovely plastic bag. And it's not tumble dried, so that oh, is. Okay. I hate I hate tumble dry because all my clothes are shrinking. Either that or the nasty shampoo is definitely making me gain weight. Uh, uh, two. Two. And two. And, uh, and Okay. Um, and that's a little bit here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, thank you. 25. 25. Bye. So it's the next day, it's midday, and we are headed out, ready to show you hidden gem number two. But we need to wait a bit, and we've got some things to do first, i.e., get a coffee, go to the gym. And right now, we're eating a banana, which, do you know what? I feel like I'm also uh, hidden oh, gems, or definitely gems. They are just something else in Indonesia. So unbelievably sweet, so good. Yeah, because we get coffee, go to the gym, and then I need to buy some more tofu. And then we got places to be, things to see, things to show you guys. So that's that, you'll see what it is when we get there. That building right next door is a bit annoying. Let's do it, let's get on with our Monday. Take our penny. Yes, but I got 3% more for the day. Banana bread or carrot cake. We have come to... What is it? Yeah. Carp... Carp I don't even know how you say that. I don't think I actually think it's on yeah. Google Maps. Yeah, we've ordered a coffee and some pancakes, because pancakes are 5k more than sliced cake. Yeah, see how the coffee is. Americano as usual. Whilst they might look underwhelming, they are so good. Caffeinated and sugared, now we're off to the gym. So the gym is pretty busy. It's not in the rucksack. Even my eyelids are sweating. It's hot today. Hello. Hello. Uh, tofu? Tofu? Yes, please. A hammer? Hammer. Five. Uh, can we get eight? Eight. Oh, sorry. <laughs> what? Uh, Yeah, but uh, twenty. Sama sama. I got it confused. <laughs> well, if she said that four was five, so I said, "Can I have eight? And then she hands me this, and I thought, "Hmm, that's a lot more than eight. So I tried to give her ten. She's like, "No, it's me her money." basically tells me 30 so somewhere along the line it's got a bit confused and what's uh 5 10 15 20 25 30 so six times four how much is that six times four that's 24 pieces of tofu at least you don't have to go uh shopping for a little while <laughs> blimey literally a sack full of protein do you need to get a pot noodle now so i'm gonna need one for tonight hello <laughs> are there cheese in the packet um how much uh and the pot? At least 10,000. 10,000, okay. Thank you. How much have you got? I want to get one as well. Yeah. Oh, I've got 20. So, Is there only five, is it? Did you get two each? 
Okay, got this here. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, these ones, 350 and 10 grams of tofu. Korean spicy soup. Yum. Gym wasn't busy, but it had people in. And first of all, I ain't got the confidence to film in front of people in the gym. And secondly, I don't really want to like invade people's personal space and make them feel like they're being filmed because I hate that if I feel like someone's taking video with me in it or whatever. So, um, but it was good. We are sweating. Now we're gonna head back, get cleaned up, do a bit of work. Harry's gonna have pot noodle. I've got no idea what I'm gonna eat. And then we are going to head out just after four for a little expedition. That broke. That broke. Yeah. Hello. Dia mau beli pi dua, dua minggu balik lagi. Yeah, you want to run the bike for two weeks? How much will yeah. it be? Oh, two weeks. Well, let me calculate. Thirty for one day. For me? Uh, what yeah, you must okay. block it because so many people... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, we will see you in a bit. Okay, goodbye. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Whoa, that's the gear. Oh, where's the gear? Yeah, that's, that's the gear. I've got gears on there. That's bloody premium, that. Bit on the short side, but you know. Are you just cleaning? Yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. 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 hello. Hello. <laughs> You okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Should we put, can we put our pipe inside? Is that okay? Yeah, no way. Oh, it smells very earthy. <laughs> the pool gone green, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Actually, I mean, when the pool's going monkey like this, you can let us know. Yeah. Yeah, we, we don't use it anyway. No. Should we um, go down to the beach quickly? Yeah, do you want to go for a cycle? Let's go for a cycle. Turns out we've got an army of minions in our villa. I was not expecting that. So we've just cycled. We've taken full advantage of our bikes and we've just cycled nearly half around the island. Just gonna chill here for maybe, I'm not really sure how long because we've got people in our villa. Do you want a Coke Zero? Uh, one Coke Zero. Sound of refreshment. Let's talk about the bikes. When I was here, 2019, in my head, for some reason, I, I got that I paid like 20 pound, 21 pound to a bike. And then I look at old Facebook messages to my dad and apparently I spent two pound 50 on the bike. But anyway, I, I don't actually know how much I paid, but that's like kind of what we put into the budget. We're yet to buy a bike and we spent a whole week walking around and we're fit people, but it's hot. And you know, we gave it a good go and it was pretty exhausting. So today we inquired how much would it be? And it seems the average price of renting a bike here is 50 a day. So we tried to get a special price, a good price, a morning price, even though it's afternoon, for a bike for two weeks. And she could give us 30 a day. It's got gears. I've never had gears before. It does have brake, but it does not have a bell. They've both got baskets and a stand. And they come equipped with a chain. And if anything happens to them, we can take it to them and they'll repair it. So I think it's quite a good deal. 40 quid for the next two weeks for the both of us to have a bike, it's 20 pound each. That means that we don't have to leave so early this evening to go and do our hidden gem number two. Shall we go to the ATM, get some money, go to the shop, get some crisps to take part at the adventure. See what it's looking like back at the villa. See how much the tofu gets between here and there. Right then everybody, uh, two. Should we get the snacks now or snacks on the way? Snacks now. Snacks now. Right, let's see what's going on with the map. Let's go. Oh yeah, we've got an extra blanket. Keep the more dishwashing so. Better put you on charge. Ooh. Okay everybody, you are set up as a little unit. Got your little head torch on and you your sound, your wind muffler. It's called five and we need to go. So come on, Harry. Now, let's go. Don't forget the camera. What a beautiful evening. Got the crisps. Right, the question is, can I navigate and ride a bike? Come on, Harold. Peaceful. So as we begin our little stroll up, there's two ways to get where we're we going and we've gone for the longer route in true style but it's more scenic and just straight up it's 
Asteroids. I feel like we've got a little bit late. It's starting to get to that. Is it blue hour? I don't know. Right, Just very simple. Follow the concrete path. Just there. I don't know if the GoPro makes this up. Wow. Can you go that way? Yeah, yeah okay. Be careful, so, so much so much wrong. Okay, yeah. alright, thank you. Why does everybody think I look like Adele? I mean, I'm kind of seeing it now, everyone's saying it. Harry disagrees. But let us know in the comments what you think. Do I look like a Dow or is it far from it? So I'm going to set you up for a time lapse and then we're going to talk about this place. Looking black over there. Oh. But we're gonna head back a bit early, a bit early from the sunset, but we're a bit worried about getting back because it's a bit of a dodgy road. The old bicycle. That was just absolutely stunning. Let's hope we don't fall off our bikes on the way. You see that funnel of rain there. And that there, ladies and gentlemen, let's put, let's put my little friend on is why Indonesia is so green. All that rain. Chicken? No, tofu. Oh yeah, okay. So I get tofu. Uh, One, two. Two? Two. Yeah. Can we have a look? Yeah. Yeah? Is this jackfruit? Uh, mushroom. Mushroom? Oh, yeah, that looks so good. Uh, fish. And fish, fish and yeah. chicken. Chicken? Yeah. Okay. Nasi champa? No, I love this. No, no, I don't belong. <laughs> yeah, it's rice. Yeah, thank you. Uh, noodles? Oh, yeah, tempeh? Maybe. Uh, no. And then the chicken? One. Um, three. Yeah. And? and some mushroom. Yes. Yeah. Two. Two. No. Yeah. We're too good. Mm, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Harry's food looks delicious. Stop to make get some Oreos on the way, and then we'll be home. Thank you. So the camera died, but didn't miss out on much. We were headed home anyway. The sunset was not was not the most spectacular of sunsets. Mother well, Nature wasn't quite on our side, it was quite cloudy as you can see. But um, why it's a hidden gem, as you can see, it's a little bit out of the way. But it's very, like it is a, if you've been or if you're coming here, um, you'll know or you'll find out for sure that going to watch the sunset is a thing to do in Gilly or is the thing to do in Gilly and they are absolutely spectacular sunsets like just uninterrupted views over the sea and occasionally you get to see the volcanoes that are on Bali and it's absolutely stunning but the beach is completely geared up for it everywhere has like bean bags and music and places you can order drinks and food to really like and also there's like swings in the sea just to view the sunset but obviously literally everybody on the island is going to watch the sunset and you'll be surrounded by everybody so uh this like short little hike has two viewpoints you don't have to go and watch it during the sunset the one where we watched where we saw lombok which you might even be able to watch sunrise from i'm not really sure maybe it's something we should test out um and then obviously the other one that views sunset and it's just a lot more of a intimate viewing 
of the sun and just that different view of being higher up and you can see all of the trees below and the beaches and a different view than being on the beach and a lot quieter and as i said there is two access points there is one from the sunset up, sunset side that you can use the steps to go up but i don't actually know if that will take you to the viewing point where we went um or you can do the way that we did and i will just link down below the beginning to that trail and you just follow the trail up and then kind of like the footpath that's been trodden before you and you will end up where we ended up but anyway that's that's the end of this video i hope it has inspired you um to do something a little different while you're here on gilly obviously the snorkeling with the turtle is absolutely amazing just off the beach um or going on a snorkeling trip or doing diving but they're kind of things that like just come up straight away when you google gilly but these are things that don't and may just add a little something extra to your trip here um so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you in the next one